May contain some loud and prolonged high-low pitch moments. Okay. <laughs> Take two. Play opening movie? Yes. How about the rest of the movies? Yes. Sometimes, when I close my eyes, when I let my mind drift, I can feel a world beyond my own. It's fast and beautiful. I can see it through the eyes of a girl I admire. However, as my consciousness slips back to me, I remember that this euphoric dream is not real. As I awaken, my connection to that world slowly fades from my memory. I won't let that world escape me. I will hold on to these fragments of my dreams in any way I can. Maybe I can never truly reach that world. He she wakes up. And maybe one day, I could still become the girl I see in that place. I think I'm done drawing for the day. I wonder where mom and dad could be. But so yeah, let's begin. Got this little girl we're controlling. And this connects a lot to Temi's newer game, which came out a few months ago, but still it's newer. Uh, Dweller's Empty Path. So this connects a lot to it, but let's look. All her pictures. A lot of, a lot of drawings of your imaginings and a world you wish to live in. Your skill is not what you, where you wanted to be yet, but you're still proud of what you've made. Is that a snake? Yeah, it's a little snack. Melody looks sickly. He refuses to eat. What should I do? Now let's see what this is. Oh, it's a little picture of her. A picture frame that holds a photo of younger you. It's your drawer. It's full of clothes your parents bought for you. You don't really have a sense of for fashion yourself. It's a pile of clothes ready to be washed. What about bed? It's your bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Not yet. I'm not sleepy yet. It's your garbage can. There's a lot of crumpled up papers full of sketches you don't like. Aw, oh, no, your sketches are good. A little diary? It's your diary. What would you like to do? Read today's entry, quick game, close the diary. Let's read today's entry. They aren't back today either. When will mom and dad come home? I'm really lonely. Not that he isn't doing so well. He won't eat anything for some reason. To pass the time, I've been imagining stories that have become so vivid, I ne nearly forget reality. And these stories are who I always wanted to be. Brave, strong, unafraid. Living freely and living in a forest of wonders, the world of my dreams. I even have friends. But at the end of these imaginings, I have to remember that the world isn't real. At the end of the day, I have to remember I'm just me. The me who is pathetic, the me who is cowardly, the me who is alone. I'm kind of tired. I'd like the rest of it. Not yet. What's down here? Upstairs. A vase. A vase. And this is a vase. A photo of another member of your family. You met them when you were very young, so you don't remember who they are. You know what? We all do that. It's a family of you and your parents. Let's see here. A vase with some pretty flowers in it. Same thing. Yeah. What's in here? It's your parents' room. I shouldn't go in. Alright. What's down here? A potted plant. A vase. A coat rack. Oh, you can just step on those. It's a phone. Maybe I should try calling my parents. Ringing. No answer. It's a little landscape. Almost looks like... Yeah, it's a painting of mountains. And just some plants. Painting of flowers. What's over here? She also mentioned she's tired. Do we have to go back to bed? The kitchen chair bench. A 
normal chair. Some bills and papers. Find the plant. The radio plays a lot of old music. Kitchen garbage can. The refrigerator. It's fully stocked, but it's hard to decide what to eat. The kitchen sink. It's clogged up a bit. It's the oven. It's a little scary. There's a painting over the oven. Do you want to look? Sure. It's a little dog. A painting of a dog at the beach. It's a container full of sugar. Maybe a bit would be okay. Ate a bit of sugar. Yay! You awake yet? You got sugar. A cutting board. Can we eat more? Yes, eat all the sugar. Too much sugar. You don't feel so good. Do it. Do it more. Alright, fine. It's just that. A cabinet that holds various spices and ingredients. A vase with some pretty flowers in it. More sugar. No. Too much sugar. Living room. A reclining chair. A small table. Living room garbage can. It's the TV. It seems like a cartoon is about to start. You want to watch it? Yeah, let's watch cartoons. Aha, Dracula versus the three heroes. Your efforts are futile. You weaklings cannot defeat me. Surrender and accept your fate. Ah, 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 ah. At this rate, we're done for. Unless... I'm gonna use my power. What? No, it's too dangerous. There's no other way. Whatever you're trying, you stand no chance against me. We'll see about that. Oh! Demon wolf thing. We're using this risky hidden power. Do our heroes stand a chance? Tune in next time to find out. I wonder if those are the... You're in awe. You love the show. <gasps> Look how happy she is. I wonder if those are the three characters from... Um... Uh, uh, Dwellers Empty Path. The three heroes you can follow. A comfortable couch. That's a very tiny couch. Just a clock. Another photo. Painting of a sunset. That's cute. What's up here? The bathroom. Oh. The shower curtain. You accidentally rip it a lot. Yeesh. The shower. The bathroom sink. The toilet. The toilet paper. Alright. Wait. Bathroom flavored garbage can. <laughs> bathroom flavored garbage can. Alright, uh... Downstairs. I don't want to go outside yet. I want to write in my diary. Alright. Basement. Wait a sec. This reminds me a lot of... The house in Escape Chasm. I just realized... Or not Escape Chasm. In Dwellers Empty Path. I'm seeing more and more connections. A broom. It's a box. It's a box. And this is an open box. It's a box. It's a box on a table. Some old receipts. It's a box. It, the boiler. It's scary looking. It's a very small boiler. It's a box. A dryer. A washing machine. A garbage can for lint. It's a mirror. <laughs> She's posing in it. It's you! You look cute today. Yes, you do. Come on. Uh, still can't go outside? I don't want to go outside. Okay, we've explored everything, I guess. Let's write in the diary. It's your diary. What would you like to do? Read today's entry? Okay, that's the same. Wait, what, what are the other choices? Close diary. Alright. I guess let's head to bed. Yes, let's go to sleep. Maybe tomorrow will be better. You've only been awake for a bit, though. Hmm. Aww, three smiling people. Mom, Dad, and the girl. And then they're leaving. Oh, she's going off to school? 
Oh, and she feels outcast. She thinks about the cartoons. Oh, they love her if she looked like the cartoons that she draws. She just isolates herself more. That's a weird dream. How long did I sleep for? I should look around and see if they come back yet. How's Melody doing? Melody isn't moving anymore. Yeesh. Still locked? It's your parents' room. Maybe I should knock and see if they're back. Knock, knock. No response. Guess I should look around. I mean, there's nothing really... I... Maybe tomorrow. Uh... I mean, there's nothing really new. Anything on TV? It's a TV. Watch what's on TV. Is it gonna be the same thing? Oh! That's... that's creepy. Hello, Mr. I. You don't feel like watching it. Yeah, that's fair. That's a fair response. Nothing really in the bathroom. Alright. That's right in the diary, I guess. It's your diary. It read today's entry. I don't have anything to write. I should look around some more. Look around some more. I mean, what would, could we explore? Hmm. See what's on the radio? The radio. It doesn't appear to be working. Yep, that's fair. It's a container full of sugar. Maybe a bit would be okay. Yay, more sugar. Our diet has consisted entirely of sugar at this point. That is all you have eaten for the past day. Uh, should we try writing? Again? Oh, wait. Crap, I didn't mean to... Crap. Uh, I don't know what I did. I didn't move down. I thought only the arrows keys did that? Why'd I quit the game? How? I'm confused. Don't feel like watching TV. Little couch. This is our- this is in our normal reclining chair. Did they come back and change the chair? Oh, it's the- oh, it's a different chair. It's in the normal reclining chair. Did they come back and change- oh! He hello there! Who are you? He's in a closed empty path, isn't he? The Zera? Just a visitor. Is there anything I can do for you? Not really. I'm just here to observe. Observe? What are you observing? I'm just here to see what happens. What do you mean? Oh. Where did he... Okay, that's weird. Uh, who the heck was that? Parents, I can can I sleep with you, Mom and Dad? Okay, uh, let's... Uh, we, we had a visitor today, Mr. Diary. It's your diary. Let's read today's entry. There was a strange guy in my house today. I couldn't believe my eyes. I wasn't sure if he was real or not, and I was a little alarmed at first, but maybe I just imagined him. Melody stopped moving. I think he's sleeping. When will Mom and Dad come home? I don't know what to do. How do I help him? I I'm kind of sleepy. I should take a rest. Alright, let's go to sleep. It's your bed. Let's go to sleep. Maybe they'll be back when I wake up. Alright, she's drawing something. 
Oh, she's growing. And she keeps drawing as she grows. Okay. She misses her parents. Where are they? Uh, hello? Oh, hi! Creepy guy. Oh, it's an angel. Please help her. Please help me? <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, the garbage can's empty. Was that always empty? It's a garbage can. There's nothing in it. Huh? I could have sworn my garbage was full. What just happened? None of isn't moving anymore. Yeesh. And now the time's different again. The family photo you and your Oh, the photo changed. A photo of another member of your family. You met them when you were very young, so you don't remember who they are. Why is the portrait upside down? Yeah, it changed. Okay. It's your parents' room. Maybe I should knock and see if they're back. Knock, knock. No response. Guess I should look around. Alright, so I gotta see- it's like, spot the difference, I guess. Hmm... What about the radio? You're scared of the radio. Fair enough. Normal chair. I'm gonna try going outside last. You're too afraid to turn on the TV? Fair enough. Let's try heading outside, because she said maybe tomorrow. I can do this. Oh! Oh, that's not good. What's happening? Such a wonderful sight. I recommend you turn back. He's right. I should go back. What was that about? What was that? What's going on? I I knew I shouldn't have gone outside. What should I do? What should I do? I'm so scared. Where are mom and dad? Where could they be? Reality is breaking. Outside. I should turn back. It's not safe. What if we just... Oh, we get slower. Uh, that's not good. No. Ew, I don't like that. We got slower as we walked towards the end. Uh, that's not- that's not good. Uh, yeah, um... I feel like I'm gonna die if I keep going. But I guess this is what we gotta do? No, but she said turn back, so... Uh, let's try writing the diary then. We'll adventure into the endless void next time. Diary, read today's entry. I went outside to try and look for mom and dad, and what I saw, my heart was racing. Something's wrong. Everything looked distorted and destroyed. I don't know what to do. Was what I saw even real? That strange man was there, too. He was looking at the chaos, and he seemed like he liked it. He told me I should turn back and then vanished. Who is he? If I see him again, maybe I should ask him where my mom and dad are. Would he know? Where are my mom and dad? Did they get hurt? Do they need my help? I don't know what to do. My mind is racing. I'm so scared. I'm so worried. What should I do? I'm... I'm tired again for some reason. Why am I so tired? Inside the bed, I guess. It's your bed. Would you like to go to sleep? I don't know if I should be sleeping, but for some reason I can't keep my eyes open. Will everything be fixed when I wake up? I don't think she sleeps with her glasses off. I think... on. I think she takes them off. There's the wolf again. And there's the eye. Oh, and there's creepy dude. And new bunny eared girl? Who are you? Uh, 
Uh, okay. I I should. The music's not playing. Not that it isn't moving anymore. Oh, that's not good. What's happening? I need to find mom and dad quick. It's broken. It's a family photo of you and... It kind of almost looks like Bunny, your girl, I think. I can't remember who this is. Broken vase. What if we head down here? <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Broken. Wasn't there a vase here? There's shoes missing. The portraits are just gone. What was this a picture of again? The phone's gone, too. The phone is gone. Broken. What's this a picture of again? Uh, let's head over to the kitchen. You could say they were eerie. Uh, kitchen. That's a doll? Where did this doll come from? This isn't my doll, but it looks familiar for some reason. That, again, looks like the girl with the dream. Take the doll with you? Sure, let's take the doll. You took the familiar doll. Also, I believe that same doll is in um, Sham's shop in Deltarune. A small chair. The kitchen chair bench. There's nails sticking out. Oh, those are nails. Ugh. Some bills and papers. They're slightly torn. The potted plant was knocked over. The radio, it won't turn on. Kitchen garbage can. Refrigerator, there's nothing left to eat. Nothing to eat. The kitchen sink. It's the stove, it doesn't seem to be working. It's a container full of sugar. I shouldn't eat this. You ate it anyway. You feel sick. A cutting board. A broken vase. The cabinet that holds various spices and ingredients, its contents are scrambled. This does not look right. Oh, even the carpet is glitching. Bathroom. Hey, could, could we take a little bathroom break? Just reality? Could you stop breaking down for a second? I need to use the bathroom. A withered plant. The shower curtain, it's destroyed. The bathtub is full of holes. The bathroom sink. Bathroom flavored garbage can. The toilet's broken. The toilet paper. With the plant. You'll have to see to find out the story. The couch was switched out again. It still looks the same. A comfortable couch, it's all ripped up. Living room garbage can. You can't see what's inside. A broken table. Uh, broken vase. What was this picture of again? TV? It's TV, it won't turn on. Sound here. It's a box with questionable contents inside. It's a closed box. Oh, it was open before. A broom. I mean, it's a mirror. Oh, and it's all broken. Eh. It's a box on a table. Some old receipts. The boiler is the least scariest part of this room right now. Wasn't there a, dry it's a dryer before? Yeah, they're both washing machines now. A washing machine. Garbage can for lint. Uh, let's try heading outside. Maybe we can run. Oh, she just straight up doesn't okay let's try heading oh we didn't check the parents room okay I'll go in oh boy oh she moves super slow in here okay uh, this is just like moving outside so maybe she just dies either way can we even go across here? Okay, I guess we can. There's something hidden in the wilted plant. Will you take it? Obtained hidden pages. Okay, what's up here? Oh, we can't go up there, I guess. We can go to the wilted plant, but I'm up there. Okay. An open journal. The previous pages are all torn out, but the last page... This is... Mom's handwriting. XXXXXXXX. If you find this journal, my little star, I'm sorry we couldn't get you to get to tell you one last goodbye. I know you haven't found your confidence yet, but I know deep inside a strong and brave girl sleeps. 
I wish we could have been able to see you all grown up. If you find a way out, please move on without us. I think it's too late for us. I wish all my heart that we can meet again. Another time, another place. Please, know we love you very much. Whatever happens to us, we'll never forget you. I'm proud to have been your mother. I'm proud of you, my daughter. This is... It can't be. No way. They, they must still be somewhere. I can still find them. They need my help. I have to... Uh, boy. Okay, we can't even go over to the bed. Alright, I guess let's head out then. I have to... I have to find them. There. There's still time. Yeah, they got... They're, they're dead. I have to find them. I... Oh, oh, don't cry. Reality's breaking, but we can figure something out. Oh. Hello, creepy guy again. Who doesn't fit with the color scheme. Uh, where are you going? Hey, come, come back. It's you. It's me. You... Do you know where my parents are? I think you already know the answer. They're gone. He seems way too happy about that. To a place they can't willingly, willingly return from. No. As things are, you'll never see them again. No! I... No, it's... It's not true. They're not gone. They can't be. No. Well. They may be gone from this world, but it isn't too late to save them. Huh? How can that be? I thought you said they were... From this world, yes. There's nothing that can be done. Oh, I just realized this room wasn't broken before and it's broken now. But, if you are willing to take a chance, you may be able to find a way to save them. There is a world beyond this one that you seem to be already somewhat familiar with. A world that you've depicted in these crude drawings of yours. Oh. It seems like, because of her, you've established a link to that world. It wouldn't be very hard to create a path for you there. There is a world like that? So it really ex exists? However, in stepping through the, this path, you can never return to this life. Can you take this step knowing you may never be able to return? Hmm. Let's choose to forget our past and go... Let's choose to either forget our past, go to a new world, magical place, or let's stay in our reality. Sure, remember our past, but also go down with our reality. Yeah, let's go into the new world. If there's a way to save them, then I have no choice. There is a chance that in doing this, you will slowly lose every attachment you have to this world. I figure most of that doesn't bother you, but what might upset you is that includes the memories of your parents. With this risk in mind, will you take this step? Do you think, even without the memories of this world, you'll be able to save them? I could lose the memories of mom and dad? No. These memories, they're my everything. Stay behind and you can hold on to your memories forever. In an endless abyssal chasm. How, how can I save them if I won't remember them? What sort of options are these? Save yourself. Do you... Do you know why all of this is happening? Do you know what caused all of this? I believe I do. There's an influence from a large unstable power in a world not too far from here. It's likely that's what's causing the that's what's causing this world to collapse on itself. Or perhaps. This world was never stable to begin with. Maybe this world has been unwinding itself from the start. If all of this is happening, why are you here? Why would you come to a decaying world? Curiosity. I stumbled upon this small world in my search for someone. The one I suspect caused all of this. Or, 
I guess the one who may be making the decay of this world accelerate. I was intrigued by this place's miserable fate and came to see this world do its end. How surprised there was how surprised to find there was anyone left. There isn't much time for you left either if you stay here. You will too you too will soon be drawn into the depths of an endless chasm. Oh, we're escaping the chasm, escaped chasm, I get it. You're finding yourself unable to stay awake for very long, isn't that right? I don't really care either way if you choose to go or not. There's someone I'd like to return to soon, so this will be our last meeting, and your last chance to escape from here. Will you leave this world? I Go or stay? Quite the choice. Alright guys, well, I think we know which one's gonna be good and which one's gonna be bad. So, should we do the good choice or should we do the bad choice? And this is it. Let's go. I'll go. I... I need to take that chance. If there's a way I can save them... Maybe... Yes. Deep in my heart, I'll make sure I'll hold on to their memories. There's no way I'll let myself forget. You've made a wise decision. Step through this door and don't look back. Whoa. Perhaps we'll meet again someday. Maybe you'll even get to meet her. Until then, farewell. Let's go. I think I'm doing the right thing. I have a feeling my dreams and happiness will come true the moment I walk through this door. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Melody. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, Dad. I'll never forget you. Tell me he's really good. Yeah, tell me he's really good at doors. Let's go. Ooh. Stepping. Oh, like your legs are like fading. Oh. Hand transfer. Hair transformation. Now she's blonde. And blue. And golden eyes. By Temi Chang. Story illustrations, pixel art by Tommy Chang. Cutscene animation, animation cleanup backgrounds, etc. Sound design by Fart Bard Animated Cutscene Scenes. Music by Toby Fox and James Roach. Nice. System Engine RPG Maker. And kind of a special thanks to Archaea, TDS, the Gigan Fly, Stephen Living. That is very bright. I think Mom and Dad wanted this for me. For me to live on towards a brighter world. And a very bright screen. Still, I can't believe my eyes. This outside world before me. It's so beautiful. Whoa, and she's changed into troll wolf girl. And she takes off her glasses. Her eye looks a little weird. But yeah, out in the sun. Well, that was nice. Come on, did we get it? Come on, come on. I really hope we got it. Yes, let's go! Question mark, question mark, question mark. We found tummy room. Do you want to return to the start screen? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> no, I worked hard to get this. It's but We a cat! Guys, look, we're, we're a cat! We're gonna boop you. We booped Temmy. There we go. It's a ball of yarn. What fun. <gasps> it's a ball of yarn. What fun. No, get back here. Seems like there's something to watch. Watch what's on TV? Yeah. Don't crash on me, please. It seems as time has passed. <gasps> oh! She slowly lost hold of her memories from her last life. That's, um, that's the lonely girl. And she's wolf girl now. However, she's still drawn to the girl she met in her dream. The bunny-haired girl. Except she wants to eat her, though maybe for the wrong reasons. Maybe one day she might realize and remember the real reason she's drawn to her. The real. Oh! Oh, and there's the bunny haired girl. What a shame she lost the memories. Oh well. 
All right, let's talk to Tammy. Wow, good job. You found the secret room. You must have some questions, right? I'm not doing anything particularly important right now, so feel free to ask me anything you'd like. Who are you? I'm Tammy, the creator of this game. I draw, illustrate, pixel, animate right, right now, I guess. And I make sound effects in-game using a cute program. Behold! Please hire me. I need work. Anyway, please ask away. Do you have any more questions? This is direct. This is directed at you, insert player name here. How did I know that you are insert player name here? Well, I am pretty awesome if I do say so myself. <laughs> is that a portal reference? Why am I a cat? Haven't you always been? And you're talking to the cat, so you're crazy. It's a radio. It seems to be playing some of Tem's favorite music. A lot of it seems to be sung by some kind of robotic voice. It seems like there's also some vocal covers of the same songs playing. Do you mean the 8-bit noise? There's Yuki sitting in her nest bed thing with her spear and bones. Okay. And eating meat. Missing pages from the Mother's Journal. Would you like to read them? Oh, we can read them here! I'm not sure what's been going on. This music isn't very fitting for this, is it? I'm not sure what's going on. My husband and I have been bo both been feeling strangely lethargic this past week. It's like no matter how much you sleep, I don't feel any more rested. It's strange how we both feel this way. Maybe there's something wrong with the mattress. My daughter seems to be more distant than usual lately as well. She seems to be shutting herself in her room more often. I'm worried about her. She's always had always had low self-esteem, and she's always seemed so ashamed of herself. I wish, she, I wish we could get it through her head that she can be who she wants to be. The only thing that's holding her back is herself. I know deep down my baby girl is a shining star. Maybe sometime soon we can play, plan a trip to somewhere far from here. A nice getaway where we can do some family bonding. Maybe we've all been a little distant lately. We can drive off to somewhere we've never been before, soak in the new sights and refresh ourselves. We can try to figure out some steps we can take to help her feel better about herself, to help her grow into what she wants to be. See what we can do to help her get out of her rut. I think the fatigue is really getting to me. Maybe a small nap will help me feel better. Oh, there's more to read? Well, you did kind of go on vacation. You guys, the parents, went on a vacation to the void, and your daughter went on vacation to a new world. So, I mean... Keep reading? Sure. Something's wrong. My husband won't wake up. No matter what I do, he won't budge. Not only that, but when I look at him, I don't know how to describe it, but it looks like he's losing his form. As time is passing, I feel like I can recognize him less and less. I'm panicking. What's going on? I'm terrified. And I think the same is happening to me as well. I can't seem to leave this room. I can't seem to find the door. This isn't normal. What's wrong with me? I think I heard a knock at the door. Is that you, my little star? Oh, she was writing these as the game was happening. I don't know what's going on, but it's getting harder and harder to keep my eyes open. That she was like, I'm fading out of existence. The knocking stopped. Oh, just take a small rest. Maybe I'm hallucinating. This all just seems like a fever dream. It probably is one. I need to remember what when I wake up to check on my girl. And there's more to read. I don't know if I ever woke up or if I'm still asleep. I can't tell if time is passing or standing still. The room is so distorted. I don't think this is a hallucination. I can't find my husband. Where is he? Is he still in the room? He's not. He's not gone, is he? Is this what we're facing? Our end? My love, where are you? It hurts so much, but for some reason I can't seem to cry. This music really does not fit. Ah, <laughs> uh, I need to see my daughter. It feels like it's been ages since I've seen her. I don't know how much time has passed. Is she worried about us? Is she safe? This is happening to her, isn't it? I don't know what to do. I'm so worried. She must be so scared, so alone. My mind is racing and I can't seem to retain a thought in my head for too long. I lose it before I can even process it. Before I can no longer write, I need to write out something for my little girl. I hope, I wish, with all my heart this letter will make it to you. It seems like there's someone in the room with us? It's not my husband. Who, Who is this? Maybe he can help me. Maybe... Maybe you can make sure this journal gets to her. Oh, the demon guy. So is that it? Okay, yeah, that's it. Wow. I mean, that is very dark. At the same time, we're also reading them in the same room where we have derpy music and Temmie dancing. So, 
confusing. Okay, so we have now have the lonely girl. Is, is she lonely wolf girl now? She's on the cliff, howling at the moon. <laughs> and just a picture of her being creepy. She seems happy. I'm glad to see things turned out okay. Hi, doll. It's a familiar doll. Of oh, the bunny here, girl. Okay, let's finish speaking with Temi then. Also, the ball of yarn is stuck here and I'm sad. What else did you want to know? What happened to the lonely girl? Oh, it's probably confusing, right? She stepped into a new world, however, because she was influenced from abnormalities from her decaying world, she was shifted into a demon. This is part. This is partially a premise or for the game I want to make next. But that game is much more ambitious and I don't know how long it will take me. Well, it's already out and I'm going to be playing it soon, so... I hope you get to see it someday soon. Anyway, I think she prefers being this way anyways. It really is a new start for her. Also, it's very similar to what she always wished to be anyway. It works out. Kinda. What else did you want to know? Who is that handsome demon man? Who is that handsome demon man? Think of him as an anti-hero. Sort of. But he's not really a good person. I guess in this story he's okay. His character design? Who are the characters he's referring to? Yes, what about it? Did he need to be a handsome demon man? <laughs> She's blushing. Y yes. <laughs> what else did you want to know? Who are the characters he's referring to? The someone he wants to return to is Yoki. Oh, I guess I can spoil the name now. Yes, the bunny girl is Yoki. She'll be the main character of the game I want to make soon. The character causing everything. You'll find out in the one day I ever finish that game. I hope I do. Oh, don't be sad, Tell me, Keep dancing. So yeah, that's that's Yoki. And that was Yoki, the girl uh, that was being hunted. What else did you want to know? Is, is this all there really is to this game? That's it! I'm sorry. There's so little. This was just meant to be a test game I made and to learn how RPG Maker works so I could make the game I actually wanted to make. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. I ended up getting attached to a story and made it longer than I intended. I really felt worried writing a story with this type of tone and themes. I really hope it doesn't upset you too much. It was great. I'm sorry if it did. No, it was a really great story. You must be a lim- Uh, never mind. <laughs> you must be eliminated. Be gone. Huh? No, we killed Temmie! We killed Te We murdered- No, what What have we done? Temmie was murdered by her cat! Oh no, D this is not fitting music for this desperate time. Stop! No! Oh dear. Be gone. Oh! I hit the ball. I hit the ball out. Alright, let's go. Do you want to return to the start screen? Yeah. So that was Escaped Chasm. So yeah, this was a fun game. This was a very fun time. But I'm going to say goodbye for now, everyone. So, we'll continue this story with um, Dweller's Empty Path. And we'll see you guys later. Take care.